first one on the scene early this morning as all of this was unfolding. And she's live now in Taylor's where the very with the very latest. We've learned so much more within the last about 45 minutes. Aaron. Fred, that's absolutely right. Right now, we're actually on the corner of Main Street and Taylor's Road in Taylor's. This is where the officers, deputies had us set up. When we first got here, we were closer to the apartments. They said it was just absolutely too dangerous at that point, so they pushed us back. Right now, you can see there's still just one deputy left on scene, but I actually had a chance to talk to the sheriff about 30 minutes ago. He said this all started with a neighbor calling 911. The neighbor said she heard noises in the apartment next door to her and that she might have heard a gunshot. So when deputies got to the apartment, they knocked on the door. They didn't get an answer. They looked through the blinds. They saw that the apartment was a complete mess. That is when they forced their way into the apartment. And when they opened the door, they saw a man standing there pointing a gun at them. That man did shoot a deputy. He shot him in the head. The other deputy was able to return fire, striking and killing that suspect. We do know that the uh, deputy who was shot in the head is expected to be okay. He is in surgery now, but when I talked to the sheriff, he said that this situation could have been a lot worse, but he is very glad that the community stepped up to help. I think everything worked out extremely well. The deputies followed their training. Uh, it's good that the community, uh, we had a community member involved that actually made the call. Uh, had that not happened, who knows where uh, or what may have resulted in this uh, final outcome. The sheriff also told me that at one point there was a brief search, but that was called off. They do think that this was isolated. As I said before, a deputy was shot in the head. He is in surgery now. Good news is that they think he will be okay. But I did get a chance to ask the sheriff about what a shooting like this does to the department, how this impacts his deputies. I'll let you know his answer coming up in about 30 minutes. Live in Taylor's this morning, I'm Aaron Rodgers, 7 News.